Hello and welcome. Let's take you on a quick tour of Yellow Brick Data Warehouse. We'll show you how easy it is to set up and manage Yellow Brick Data Warehouse by taking you through the user interface. As you get started, one of the first things you'll notice about Yellow Brick is that it's fast, really fast. We have a unique software architecture that can plow through billions of records in milliseconds. Of course, you don't need billions of records to start with Yellow Brick. Our engineers are hyper-focused on efficiency, which allows Yellow Brick to extract the best performance out of the infrastructure that runs underneath Yellow Brick. This means we can operate at a fraction of the price that other data warehouses charge while delivering exceptional query performance and query throughput. Let's log in. You can use your normal login credentials to log into Yellowbrick, so you don't need to remember another username and password. Let's start our tour of the user interface. We designed it to be clean and simple, so that is more intuitive to use. While you are watching, you might be thinking about automation. Bear in mind that everything can be controlled without the UI through SQL commands. The menu bar on the left will allow you to navigate to the various sections. Right now, we are on our home page. This is where you'll find all of our documentation, instructional videos, and the latest updates about new features. Next, we will navigate to the Data Warehouse instance. This is where you monitor the status of your Yellow Brick instance. The dashboard helps you check the health of your Data Warehouse instance and clusters, as well as view your resource utilization. A data warehouse instance is a single installation of Yellowbrick and hosts a collection of databases. Each virtual compute cluster provides independent compute resources that provide query execution services for the databases that belong to the instance. Yellowbrick has a massively parallel processing database engine that uses multiple nodes in a cluster to execute queries against large volumes of data at high speed by dividing work into units that can execute efficiently on each node. You can find your data warehouse's connection details here. So when it's time to connect your analytics applications to the Yellowbrick data warehouse, this is where you'll find the host name and port of each Yellowbrick instance. Within databases, you can see the different databases and tables in each instance. Select the database that you'd like to see and it will give you a list of tables. From there, you can drill down into each table to see specific details like table statistics, a table definition, and the load activity. Within clusters, you can see the different clusters you have running in your instance. Here, you can create a cluster. It's as simple as selecting how many nodes you need and which node size. You can create as many clusters as you need. Each cluster owns its own set of compute, memory, and cache and operates independently of other clusters. With Yellowbrick, nothing is hidden. You see exactly how many vCPU cores, which cloud machine type you are using, how much memory is available, and how much local storage is available for caching data. With Yellowbrick, storage is unlimited, as all data is stored on cloud storage like Amazon S3 or Azure Data Lake storage in a highly compressed columnar format, or in our row store for streaming data. Using the action buttons, you are also able to change a cluster, resume and suspend, or automatically set policy for auto-pause and resume to optimize costs. As well as elastically scaling or shrinking your cluster at any time, you can also load balance across clusters for really intensive query workloads. Yellowbrick charges are based on the aggregate number of vCPU cores used, so using more cores for longer incurs higher billing charges for Yellowbrick software. Select the cluster you'd like to see a summary for and drill down into statistics, logs, and events. Navigate to external resources to view items you pulled in from S3 buckets, Azure Data Lake, or other locations. Within Access Control, you will have the ability to create users and roles with specific privileges. You can also modify Access Control on each database object. In the Query Activity view, you can see all the activity that's happened on the system. You can toggle between your active and historical views. You can also adjust your columns, filter your queries by database, application, time, and more. You can save time by using your preferred presets. The Execution Timeline is where you see a real-time view of what's happening with your queries. In the last two hours, or more recently, in the last five minutes, you'll see what ran recently or what is still running. Each dot represents a query, 
You can drill into a specific query to see additional details. You'll notice that we are running many queries per second in parallel. The ability to run large numbers of queries in parallel is one of the strengths of Yellowbrick. You'll see a number of lanes. Looking at this list of lanes, you can see that we have four large execution lanes and eight small ones. These lanes are all configurable, so if you want to add more lanes to parallelize your workload, you are able to do that in the Workload Management tab. Each lane is assigned a proportion of available system resources. Workload Management is where you can create a new profile, activate a profile, and assign it to a cluster. You can change the active profile at any time you like, as many times as you like, to meet your changing needs or to adjust priorities between different teams. Any changes take effect immediately. The Query Editor is a lightweight web-based query editor where you can execute queries as well as execute DDL or DCL commands on your Yellowbrick instance. We have a load assistant that will allow you to perform all loads into your database tables using CSV and Parquet files from network locations such as Amazon S3 and Azure Data Lake. You can load individual files, match a pattern in the file name, or load an entire folder. And finally, in the Configurations tab, you are able to find out what software version you are on. See all instances, suspend your instance without losing any data, upgrade your instance, run diagnostics, and add and grant your administrators full access. Thanks for watching this short demo. As you can see, we've put a lot of effort into ensuring that you can easily and intuitively manage Yellowbrick systems. Even though Yellowbrick runs on your own cloud infrastructure, you don't need to worry about managing it. Yellowbrick takes care of it for you. You can find more detailed product documentation at yellowbrick.com as well as details on how to connect with us. Thanks for listening.